today, January 1st, is the first day of monk mode for me. After monk mode is over, after these 30 days, I'm gonna be showing you guys how much progress I actually made, if it really helped me, what I think about monk mode, and if you should try it for yourself. Monk mode. It's what I've been doing for the past 30 days. Monk mode is a commitment, a commitment to yourself. It's a period of time where you sharpen your focus as much as possible to make as much progress as possible in 30 to 120 days. But why am I even doing this? Well, flashback to last year, I was making good progress. I was posting around a video every week or every two weeks, but it wasn't as much as I knew I could be doing. I knew I could do so much more. I knew I could post way more videos and make a lot more progress but I just wasn't doing it. I kept hearing these ideas online of going pro, treating yourself like an athlete, and I really loved those ideas. I even created this whole plan for myself about how I was gonna go pro. I grabbed a piece of notebook paper and I just started furiously writing down all these points that I wanted to take action on. And that piece of notebook paper is still up on my wall. And for all the time it's been up there, I never took action on any of it. Bro, why is it getting so dark? The clouds are just messing up my lighting. Hey, but we keep going anyways. So, <laughs> hey, got bright again. I was so extremely motivated at times last year. Of course I'm gonna make three, four, five, six, ten 10 X more progress if I really commit and I treat myself like I'm a professional. But when 2024 rolled around, I actually wanted to start taking action on those ideas. I wanted to commit further. I wanted the progress. And so I decided to go on my first monk mode, a season of no, a period of intensity. I'm gonna show you guys what I did, the challenges, the progress, progress I made through this monk mode and through this focused commitment. And before we really get into this, I want to tell you the most important thing that I've gotten from this. I've gotten an actual feeling like I have momentum, like this, this force is pushing me forward and I just want to keep leaning into it and leaning into it and committing more. And it feels like that exponential progress is about to just go like this. We're building our community, bro. Let's go. We're building this movement. So I'm here at my computer right now and I'm going to kind of go backwards with this video and show you my results first. So right now we're looking at my analytics for the month of January. And as you can see in this past Past month, I've gotten 1.1 million views, 780k more than usual, way more than usual. And if we scroll down, you know, I'm gonna be completely honest. A lot of this is from a video that I posted a couple months ago, which is the one that says it will save you nine plus years of your life in six minutes. So this video got me actually the majority of the views. But if we look past that and we look down at the other videos, all of these I posted in the month of January. So right here, this video got 380,000 views. This one got 47,000, 46,000, much better than I normally do. And if I go back up, you see I gained 18,000 subscribers in this month, 18,000. This is one of my best months performance wise on YouTube. And I also made $2,000, which is much better than I normally do. So I'm not gonna fully say this is all because of monk mode, but I don't think it's just gonna stop here. I think next month is either gonna be similar or better. If it goes down a bit, then it's probably just, I didn't post as good of videos or as good video ideas, but I do think this is going to keep going up. This is the momentum that I'm seeing, that I'm feeling. And to put this into perspective, at the beginning of 2024, I had 50,000 subscribers. Subscribers. And now at the end of this month, I have around 69,000 subscribers. That is a very big jump, almost 20,000 subscribers in a month. The amount of subscribers that it took me a year to get, I almost got half of that in one month. So in every single tab, you can see that these months prior are just lower. This month, I did very well because one of my videos blew up like insane. But if we're looking at these past two months, it looks like I kind of just, just slacked off after that video got so many views. My watch time is way down. My the subscribers that I gained just trickled off from this video. And it seems like I had this big boost and then it just went back down. But here, this month where I'm intentionally trying to increase my volume and my intensity where I'm on monk mode, there's this huge increase. And the other big indicator of why this is happening is because I've posted six videos in this month, which is more than I usually do, two, three more than I usually do in a month. I basically doubled my output, which means I'm not just doubling my results. I'm 5Xing, I'm 10Xing my results. That's what happens when you really multiply your output and your intensity. When I'm looking at this right now, this is such a great example of what Iman said about how you shouldn't disrespect momentum. I just love that idea of not disrespecting momentum because I've done it so many times. You can see it here in January, 2023, and you can see it here in October, 2023. I disrespected momentum twice, a million views, and then trickles off. 22,000 subscribers trickles off into the negatives. In October of 2023, 1.5 million views, and then it trickles off. I only posted twice this month. That is literally the definition of me disrespecting this momentum. This video right here that I posted the month prior is the one that blew up. 
And I, and I just felt like, oh, it's, it's, it's okay, I can slack off now. I don't really have to do that much. I'm just going to let this video boost my channel. Those are two huge slip-ups. Imagine if the month after, imagine if November I went on monk mode. You know how much more, how much I would have kept that momentum going? It might not have matched it, but I think it would have been much higher than what it shows right here than this 300,000 views. And so you can already see that I have a lot more frequency, a lot more videos this month than usual. But I'm gonna go over and actually show you guys my habit tracker, my deep work tracker, to show you how how important and how drastic my change in consistency was. I'm gonna be showing you guys my habit tracker and my deep work tracker to show you what it really takes. When you look at this month, I have a good amount of deep work put in. Obviously, I can do better, but let's just look at what it was like last month. I recorded on some of these days, but most of these days I didn't do any scripting or recording. If you look here, there are some days where I don't know what I was doing. I didn't know if I did any deep work. And on this one, I counted editing as deep work, which isn't really deep work. So for the most part, I wasn't really doing a good amount of scripting or recording or deep focused work every single day. And that's a problem because literally the thing that is going to mainly get you more results is deep work, especially if you're doing something like business or YouTube, the time you put in where you're really working on making it better and recording videos, you see at the top, I don't know if you saw it, there's this thing that says lead factor. And that's the thing that's going to make me the most progress. And I was saying recording and scripting videos are my lead factor. That's what's gonna allow me to make more progress. The more videos I record and script, that's gonna allow more to be in the production stage, to be getting out to you guys. And so the, basically the more advice I give, the more videos I make, that is what's going to augment my progress. That's what's gonna like boost me and actually get me to start making those exponential results. So this is crucial, getting your deep work in, actually getting focused work in. That is something I've been trying to do a lot more and I've done a lot more this month and I'm gonna keep trying to double down even more every single day. I wanna do deep work every single day. I'm gonna try as hard as I can to get to that this month. So here's my habit tracker. I have kind of a lot of habits on here but you can see how consistent this was. It was almost all consistent on this side. There were a couple things on here that they weren't really my full commitment, but I definitely should have been more consistent with them. This is the type of consistency it takes where you are marking everything off almost every single day. And I wanna show you guys the comparison from what this month was like to what last month was like. And this just shows you that the ultra consistency is such a key part. Look at that. That's like nothing. That is nothing compared to what I've been doing this month. When you compare the month of January, my habit tracker from the month of January to the month of December, it probably looks like I went from being some like lazy fuck to being an absolutely insane, ultra consistent person. I think really this is the power of monk mode where you lock in, you just lock in and do these things. Whereas before it was much less deliberate. It was more like I was on autopilot. I wasn't like, this is the plan. This is getting done right now today. This month we're locking in. We're getting even more intense every single day. It wasn't that mindset. Monk mode is a mode. It's a mindset. That's what it really is. This last January, I posted a video about going all in. Actually, I posted one on my unscripted channel and one on my main channel. And I'm gonna show you guys what it really takes to go all in. Got the plan. So here, this very top one, this I added later, but this very top one is just my original monk mode plan. So monk mode is really a commitment to like multiple habits, multiple things that you're doing so that you can really focus on working hard, getting results. My non-negotiables, the things I've done almost every single day, I'm gonna be guys, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been perfect with this. I've been almost perfect, but there have been days where I didn't meditate. There are days where I didn't do what everything I said I was going to do. And I know that's not the point of monk mode. The point is to just do everything on time perfectly, but let's be honest, if you make mistakes, it doesn't mean you should give up. Just keep going with the monk mode. So I started with 10 minutes of meditation, 30 minutes of exercise, and cold showers, which I did basically every day. And also, let's assume that in that first one, there's things like no weed, no smoking, no drinking. But if you're a teenager watching this, I assume you're not doing all of those things. So this is going to be time where you're indulging in no substances. You're really focusing. You're going to have nothing hindering your mind. You're going to be sharp, and you're going to be focused. To really commit to this and be successful, I don't think you should have that many variables. I actually had a lot. I have nine right here. The other ones are a page of gratitude journaling, 10 pages of reading, 30 minutes of recording and scripting every day, stretching, daily planning, and two videos a week. Did I actually stick to all these things? No. I think a better way of going about it is to lock in on a certain number of things that you're like, I am doing this. This is my focus, and then never messing up on those things. About a week into it, I added all of this about going all in. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna read it out to you. The thing that was most important to me was having more deep, undistracted work. I also wanted to get into the mindset, so having obsession over like work and goals and really getting into the mindset every day, that was very important for me. 
No junk food was also another thing. I'm on a new diet right now. I'm not eating any junk food, processed food, like processed carbs, none of that. I've been only drinking water, so this entire time, I've only been drinking clean, fresh water, no juices, no sodas, none of that. No degenerate music, I followed that pretty well. I've been listening mostly to like classical and stuff like that, some softer things. I've been also waking up at 6 a.m. Not every day, I'm gonna be honest, this is the thing that I'm least consistent with. Waking up early for me is just seemingly so difficult, but I have to start doing it because that's what's gonna allow me to get more out of my mornings before I have to go to school. No distractions on the computer, this is something that's kind of difficult. I found that Turning off Wi-Fi and just doing things without Wi-Fi because you can write on Google Docs, you can edit videos without Wi-Fi. That's super helpful to not getting distracted on the computer. No late nights, which I've been pretty good with. Plan and replan every hour of your day. This is something I'm also working on for this next month. I'm gonna start planning and be really, really consistent with planning and know exactly what I'm gonna do every single day, the things that I'm gonna get done in the day. And then the last one is to read this every morning. That was a part of getting into the mindset. So that whole plan right there is basically my like monk mode plus plan. It's monk mode with my other part about going all in. This is really what it takes. You have to commit consistently to these things. Having this plan and sticking it up on your wall will be your reminder every single day that you are committing to these things because so much of it is getting into the mindset and that's what I want to talk about next. The main thing you are going to struggle with is mindset, is getting into that mode of monk mode because when you're not doing it, all those things that you're inconsistent with, that you're not doing every single day, that you now want to start just doing every single day for an entire month, for an entire period of time, when you're getting that much more intense and frequent with things, it's going to be so difficult to actually start doing them. All the things that I procrastinated on, like planning every single day and reading every single day, all these things that I wanted to do in my monk mode, it was very difficult to have that clean transition from me doing it super inconsistently to start doing it every single day. And in order to do that, you have to get in the mindset. I recorded on day three some footage of me like saying that I was kind of struggling with the consistency part. So things have not been going great for monk mode. And what it takes is to get into that mindset every day, to just be an absolute like beast. You have to start getting into that mindset and really understanding, like fully understanding this is what is going to happen. This is what needs to happen. This is the plan and I'm gonna stick to it. Like it doesn't matter if you create this entire plan and then you just don't do it. You stick it up on your wall and then you don't look at it again. It's the same thing with what I did with going pro where I stuck it up on my wall, I wrote out this plan and then guess what, I never did anything. Basically all of it is up here. You have to get into that state of mind that this is what's happening. You know what you're gonna do and you're gonna do it. You have to shift into that monk mode state. This is a, a state of being that you are for this period of time. You are in monk mode. So that's the struggle you're gonna come across if you try to do this. That's the struggle that I came across when I tried to do monk mode. But when you start to follow the plan consistently, you're gonna start seeing good results. And something like this is going to happen. It's, it's happening in front of my very own eyes. Look, you see that? You see, look at this. It's starting to go up. Look at this, the next video I just posted. This never happens to me, this never happens. It's just going, it's just going up like that. Dude, I swear, I just feel like this is compounding. I feel like the compounding results happening, like because of monk mode and just the other video on my, on my uh, unscripted channel blew up. I just feel like the community is getting stronger. I, I want to go all in on, on like just creating this movement and, and really getting us going and all of us going all in. And sorry, my mom's calling me, so gotta go. <laughs> So in that video, you see that two of my videos started to go up, started to like get pushed out more to a wider audience, to more viewers. And obviously a bit of this is locked Not all this is because I'm just on monk mode, but I could feel that momentum. I could feel that because I was trying to post more, I was actually recording more and getting into this mindset and doing everything that I wanted to consistently, I was going to be making more and more progress. That this was kind of just the beginning that I was seeing this glimpse into what would happen if I really committed. And which is why even this month, I'm trying to double down even more to really focus and lock in every single day to know what am I getting done? I wanna get done even more than I was in the previous month. And if you plan on doing a monk mode like this, going all in, having a season of no, and you really wanna make good progress, you're gonna to have to like stack this intensity on top of each other, like keep going higher and higher with it. And that's what's going to allow you to have this exponential increase. I figured out that the key to monk mode, the key to exponential results is ultra consistency paired with ultra intensity. If you're able to be extremely consistent in the things that you set out to improve and you're able to increase and keep increasing your intensity, going up in intensity and actually committing even more to deep work, to how much you're getting done with your time, you can start to see the exponential results. So what are my final thoughts and pieces of advice 
on monk mode. I think that monk mode is an amazing way to make a lot of progress in a shorter amount of time to really get those results and chase those goals that you want with ultra focus. I think it's really helped me a lot and it's helped me gain momentum. That's the biggest thing. I remember hearing Iman Gaji say that gaining momentum, not disrespecting momentum is one of the best things that you can do. And if you disrespect momentum, you will see that everything just sort of falls apart. This progress that you make just slows down. You get one big win and you get excited. And so you think, oh, I don't have to work as hard. No, you keep pushing into that. You push into that more and more with more intensity and consistency. And when you do that, you get these compounding results that everybody wants. Everybody wants these results. You have big goals. I know you want to achieve big things. So if you want to get those big results, a monk mode is perfect for you. And my last piece of advice with this is to shave your head, to shave your head, change your identity. Like I said earlier, it's all in the mind. All of this is in the mind. When you make this plan, the one thing that's going to get you to do is having the mindset that allows you to. When you get into that state of monk mode, it's like this, this state that you merge into before you're kind of like being complacent with certain things. No, no, no. This is a time where you're ultra consistent, ultra intense. So when you shave your head, this is a marker. Every time you see this, you are reminding yourself, I'm on monk mode. This is a new version of me, a new period of my life. This is a encapsulated period of my life where I am a different person, where I am on monk mode. I am in monk mode, right? This is the mode I am in. There's no if, ands, or buts. This is just do it. This is a season of I'm doing it no matter what. I genuinely think that these periods of intensity, these like seasons of your life, these like snippets in your life where you go ultra intense and ultra consistent, that's where you see insane results and that's also what's necessary sometimes. Sometimes you just need this to get out of a rut, to get out of a bad situation, to push yourself to new heights and achieve new opportunities. Because when you get like up here, because you've committed so much to consistency and intensity over a long period of time, you are able to have so many new opportunities. You aren't at that same level you were before. You have a new level of intelligence, a new level of business, a new level of relationships. Everything has just gotten to a new point. This is like you shedding your skin, becoming a new version of you, the new better, like upgraded version of you in life. And you're, you're sort of speed running it. You're like speed hacking it because the ultra consistency and ultra intensity, like I said, that is what speeds you up and gives you compassion counting results. All right, look, I don't just want to be like every other YouTuber you see. I want to be different. And I feel like I actually am for you guys. I want to build this movement where us teenagers aren't just average anymore. We aren't just playing video games and doing all this random shit, eating junk food. No, we're going to be healthy. We're going to have good diets. We're going to, we're going to have businesses. We're going to make our own money. We're going to become rich. We're going to become financially independent. We are going to become good, strong men. I am creating this movement of teenagers to help you stay on that path that is going to make you become a good, independent, strong, masculine young man. And I want to lead us because I understand what you go through. I understand the problems that you have. And for many of those problems, I have the answers. I've gone through these things. I want all of us to shed our skin and get this new identity where we're on self-improvement. And if you decide to go on monk mode, decide to shave your head, comment it down below. Let the other brothers in our movement know what you are doing. We are moving forward in a different fashion than everyone else. And I really hope that you join our community, that you scroll down right now, that you click that subscribe button and stay on this path. I think you'll want to join now as our movement gets bigger and bigger. And like always, never stop improving. You'll be grateful for it later.